What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, before we get started, I want to remind you about my one-man show, Jonathan Rollins, Fastan Stealth. I'm coming to Gothenburg on November 19th. Tickets are still available. You can Google Jonathan Rollins, Fastan Stealth, Gothenburg, and you'll see the tickets right there on eventbrite.com. Come through, laugh with your boy. Make sure to say hello if you come to the show. And those of you in Stockholm that wanna see my one-man show, it's November 26th and 27th. Tickets are available to that show as well on eventbrite.com. I'll be filming those, so uh, maybe you'll be on there. I don't know, we'll see. But come out, say what's up if you come by, laugh with your boy. I hope to see you there. All right, let's get started. This is one a lot of people have been waiting for. This artist is requested a lot. A lot of times I don't get a song name, I just get, do some Eddie Medusa. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> you gotta tell me what song is a classic and then I can do it. Uh, but this time I got, uh, a few people have requested this song, Mira Brenvin. So I got it here and I'm ready to do it. A little bit about the song, it was released in 1981 on the album Gossen i Botten. That's uh, like pedal to the metal, I'm thinking, right? Yeah, pedal to the metal is what we say. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a joke song, so I don't expect a, a great singing voice. I do appreciate good humor, so I'm hoping it's actually funny and not just uh, shock funny. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I did read that this song is about alcohol abuse, classic stuff right there, and about how people drink without thinking about consequences. So uh, that's something I can relate to as somebody who does not get hangovers I tend to drink as if there are no consequences. One thing I do is I get blackout drunk though. That's not good. But then I wake up and I'm good. Let's go, next day, let's go. <laughs> I consider that my superpower. Eddie Medusa was born Errol Leonard Norstedt. He's dabbled in many different genres of music, making songs in at least 15 different styles from rock to tango to hip hop. I was very impressed when I saw that and I'm thinking maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this guy has a nice voice if he can do all of these different types of music. I could be wrong, this dude could be an actual musical talent. He performed under many different alter egos. Eddie Medusa was just one of them. From what I get from this is that he's a pretty interesting and creative dude, it's my, it's my guess. He made countless albums, cassettes, and CDs. I breezed through some of the titles of some of the songs, and it seems that he did not shy away from controversy by the names of some of the songs. I feel like I'm ready to dip my toe into the Eddie Medusa water and see what he's got going on here. Uh, Mr. Medusa had uh, heart issues. He died from a heart attack, um, and it's believed that it was uh, due to a battle with alcoholism. He had an enlarged heart, and then eventually he succumbed uh, to a heart attack at the age of 53. That's pretty young. That's Eddie Medusa. It's time for me to react to uh, one of his most popular songs. I got the lyrics here so I can read along. As I listen, here's Mira Brendin, More Moonshine in English by Eddie Medusa. <laughs> I see it. I see it. The the voices. I, I know this is about to be silly. Let's go, man. I gotta get my mind ready for this silly ride I'm probably about to go on. Just the just the very beginning. Squeeze the poor guy. Yeah. Det var nok klokkene treff der du bare Hva var det for henne? Ja, det var Torsten Bengtsson. Var det han? Nå kan han vise seg gang og stupe på alvor, pojken.
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> On this female logo stands for the gratis ambulance. I like that line. <laughs> and it's good. The music is good. It sounds like some Blues Brothers stuff or something like that. The nice uh, rock and roll blues uh, type of feel to it. I like it. It's so funny to me, because normally when I think of uh, silly songs, it feels like the, uh, like, you know, growing up, if I heard some silly songs, it's like normally directed to kids or whatever, and then the musicians aren't that good. But these guys are freaking jamming, man. <laughs> it's like it's really good music, and then it's thinking about some silly shit, uh, like uh, Moonshine. <laughs> so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Man, uh, that, so that was Mera Brenvin, Mera Brenvin by Eddie Medusa. It was a good song, they're good at doing what they're doing. A little silly for my taste, but uh, I get it. Not a banger, not gonna call it a banger. I guess it's hard to get a banger out of that, so he probably wouldn't care anyway. It was catchy, it was fun, and they're really good at making the song, so. So that's good. It reminded me a little bit of rap, though, like the, the, the scheme. It was, you know, they're trying to rhyme, rhyme scheme, and it felt like uh, a little basic, though. Like passing out and riding the ambulance was a, a theme. I know it's part of the chorus, but it was also part of some of the verses, too. So it's like, you know, a little more, uh, it's more stuff you can say. I mean, we've all had moonshine, you know? I don't think he mentioned blacking out either. Come on, man. Black out when you mess with that moonshine, that stuff, you whoo! <laughs> so it's kind of ironic too that that's what uh, it led to his death. This is his, one of his biggest songs. I think it was his biggest, most popular song. He died from, basically from drinking too much. So that's unfortunate. Be safe out there, folks. Don't overindulge in anything. Boom. <laughs> Message. So that was Mera Brandine by Eddie Medusa. Uh, there might be more Eddie Medusa in my future. I'm intrigued by this guy. I wonder if there's a movie about him. If there is, let me know, because I would check that out. If he was out now, he'd probably make a sketch show. That's what I would guess. Instead of uh, actually making music, maybe make a sketch show with these different, you know, and then they do the music, you know what I mean? Thanks for checking this video out. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications and all that jazz. Most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. The next song I'll be reacting to is called Alvin Hook by Nanne Grönvall. I look forward to that. We've all been jealous before, huh? We'll see what this is all about. I thought the jealousy in this way was far too quick, so I wonder what the difference is. Maybe this is more than relationship jealousy. We'll see. We'll delve into this. I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned for that. 
Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.